the main focus of today's training was this spin down the corkscrew whatever you like to call it it's just a rotation all the way down into a hook position rest stance um, whatever you'd like to call it the goal was mainly just to be very familiar and comfortable with this movement because sometimes I'll lose my balance and fall over. I even uh, lost my balance one time during uh, today, but I preferably want to do it, you know, have it be as ingrained as a movement pattern as a normal squat is. They would have the same amount of speed and fluidity and power. It's uh, it's pretty useful sometimes for a dance move. Um, but besides that, I'm not really sure what it would be used for. Uh, my finger is almost completely healed. So, um, I don't have to do the fist holds entirely, but I will probably keep it up until after tomorrow that I'll probably resume some pull-ups, some hanging. The uh, false, false grip is feeling much stronger. And uh, the sissy squat, I think I could do it without the assistance. And I try to do it here without touching. And I think I just barely tap it. As you can see, more and more of these spin downs, corkscrews, uh, rest stances. I think once I really get the pattern down, I'll also figure out how to work my way out of the uh, quite tangled position that it leaves yourself in. See there, I lost my balance a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, something to mention is that the, the carpet I'm on is very slippery, so it uh, very much aids the movement itself. So I think I'll try it out on some more abrasive surfaces that you might see uh, more often than the slippery surfaces as you'd see here. Um, please leave a like, please leave a comment about anything. Uh, actually leave a comment, some questions, because I'm thinking of doing a Q&A video for uh, the thousand subscribers. So thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. So leave some questions if you uh, have any questions. And then here's the nighttime stretching I do. Just pretty basic, just doing the bare minimum here. Doing the hips, the splits, and then the shoulders. The prime movers, the prime movers are your uh, butt and hips and then your shoulders and chest and back kind of area. They are the most powerful producting forces, but you should also be stretching out your your ankles and your your hands. Wrist, wrist and ankles are very, uh, the ankles are the most common part of your body to be injured. Uh, the wrists are up there, so just take extra precaution with those. My wrists are actually very strong. I've done a lot of wrist work, so, but I, I think my, uh, my ankles can, your ankles can never be strong. You can always kind of work them. And then here is the shoulder jump rope, a very important, uh, probably the best shoulder exercise for stretching and mobility you can do. You know, do it with a towel after you take a shower is my big tip, along with doing it at night. To get your shoulders fully mobile. Your shoulders actually are the most, um, has the most range of motion out of uh, all parts of your body. It's just a ball and socket joint, which is similar to like one of those socket wrenches that you can swing around. So uh, theoretically, everyone should be able to fully mobilize their shoulders and move them in every direction. But it takes a little bit of time to loosen up the shoulders to get that full expression and range of motion that you have the capabilities for.
tomorrow, I'm not sure what I would do. It might be a uh, shorter episode, it might not be. I have something planned, but I'm not sure if it will really come to fruition. And then, yeah, leave those comments for the Q&A video for the 1,000 subscribers special. Bye-bye.